want to talk about coaches now. We're going to shift gears to the National Football League and coaches in the coaching carousel of the revolving doors of coaches. Mike Shanahan, as you mentioned earlier, now is getting a lot of interest. And I really thought, I, I thought a couple of weeks ago when I talked to him, and I said to him, I think you need to do a lot more media, keep your name out in the public. He's getting his name out in the public. Yeah. Uh, and he's uh, Buffalo, Chicago. You and I were out in front of this and saying Chicago is the right place for him to go because he squeezed more out of Jay Cutler than anybody else. If anybody's going to ever get him. He made him a pro bowler. Out. In yeah. Jay Cutler's third year, he went yeah. to the Pro Bowl yeah. under Shanahan. So I, I think that Chicago of Oakland, we talked about that yesterday, but Chicago, I How think, about is, that one? is the best. When yeah. we talk about Shanahan, but well, if we'll, we'll talk about Oakland. Do you think but, Al Davis is actually, forgive me, rolling over in his grave, oh, that his son no, no doubt would, about it. would be talking to Mike Shanahan after what no, Shanahan and Al Davis no went doubt. to. Jack Del Rio yeah, is also on the, Oakland, yeah. on the Oakland uh, list. And, and I've, talked, uh, I've talked several times to Jack Del Rio over the period he's been here, and we've talked about his upbringing. I can tell you, he, he grew up <laughs> in the area uh, close to San Francisco and Oakland. Northern California. Near the wine country, if you can picture that in your mind. Uh, but a, a, a Hayward, Hayward, California, which wasn't a uh, uh, high-end neighborhood. It was a, it was a working man's uh, kind of town. And he was a big fan of the Oakland Raiders. His dad, who's Jack Sr., I don't know he's senior because I think they have different middle names, but his father's named Jack, too. <coughs> Jack Louie is his father. Uh, he would take Del Rio and his brothers, and they would go to Oakland Raiders games every year. They'd pick out one game, and they'd go. Jack Del Rio went to college at Southern Cal. The Raiders were in Los Angeles. He talked to me about how he loved going to the Raiders game. I think that lives within all of us, that I grew up loving the Cardinals, and if the Cardinals named me general manager tomorrow, I'd, I'd take the job because that's returning yeah, to the roots. Yeah, I don't roots. think that's going to happen, though. And, well, I don't have to worry about that, do I? You leaving to become the general manager of the Cardinals? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I was thinking, no, yeah. oh, probably not. <laughs> uh, or any team, for that matter. <laughs> the, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. But Jack Del Rio returning to his roots, that he, he once returned to Oakland. And I, in my research on him, he once returned to Oakland, and they asked him, he said, you know, I, I, I did, when I got into coaching, I wanted to kind of be the Raiders coach because I had to pull for that team. So th there's more to that. And I think, and I've heard, that he is actually their number one candidate. But they're, why they're would he? Why would he take it? Would, why would anybody... Take that Raiders job, and it looks where, like Reggie McKenzie. Where did you grow? You're from Chicago, but what town yeah. did you grow up in? Chicago until I was 20. I mean, isn't and there then, something then in, in you about that? If if a the lousiest television station in Chicago had sure. offered you a job, sure, that is a building program. You okay? The Raiders are going to fire you in a couple of years if you don't do something. But they got a they got a decent young quarterback. You have a lot of cap. He's okay. You have a lot of. I said a decent yeah, young boy. Okay. Decent's what I said. Cars decent. He may be, he may be coachable. You have so much. They have a, something like fifteen or twenty million dollars in cap room. Now the cap. Oh no 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 no. They've got like sixty-seven million dollars okay, in cap okay, room. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry wrong. to correct but you, no, but, I, but I it's an that. enormous number, which makes it a, so, a more attractive job. And yeah. if you're Jack Del Rio. I mean, do you know why Terrence Knighton came here? Because he and Jack Del Rio right. had, they, had a good relationship. Yeah. Uh, why did uh, there the are a couple of uh, – the center for the Broncos played under John Fox. Will Montgomery. I mean, they're guys that actually like playing for Jack Del Rio. He was a player's coach like Fox is a player's coach. I think he can attract people. John Fox really was as much responsible for Peyton Manning coming here as John Elway was. Because he liked Fox when he coached him in a in a pro bowl, so I think there's a lot of reasons to go back to Oakland. I'm deciding. I mean, I don't want to ever live in Oakland, and he wouldn't live in Oakland. He'd live in Redlands or someplace. But I think there's reasons he wants a head coaching job. These guys want to be head coaches in the worst way. I, and I get Adam that. Adam Gase is going to get his chance. Uh, Todd Bowles <clears throat> is going to get his chance. I guess if you only Mike have Mike Shanahan and Jack Del Rio. Better fire their shot while they got the chance. Agreed, especially Mike at 62 years old. And I want to talk more about Shanahan and all the places he's, uh, he's interviewing a little later in the show. But I get it. If Jack Del Rio is only being interviewed by the Raiders, 
if that's his best chance to get back into the head coaching ranks, I guess he's got to take it. Um, Adam Gase can probably afford to be a little more picky. There's, there's nobody else. He, there are four or five teams. Nobody else him. else interested in Del Rio, and the reason why the Raiders are is his background, his knowledge of right. the Bay. I think there's a lot going on there. They want a defensive-minded coach, and Dennis Allen didn't work out. And Jeff's it, got a great presence too. Yeah, we know that. and I'm, I'm chuckling while while you're talking. Not anything to do with you, but a guy. I'm listening to the radio here, a radio talk show, and a guy said. Jack Del Rio doesn't want to be a head coach again. What? And I'm, I want to call in. I don't ever call well, in. Well, that guy shouldn't be on the air if he said that. <laughs> oh, well, of course he. Uh, there was like 18 things. Jack he Del said Rio's dying that. to be a head coach again. D every time I talk to Jack Del Rio, he'd say, "You know, yeah, I really want a head coaching job. I want a head coaching job again." I mean, sure. he's desperate's the wrong word, but he he wants to be a head coach. Absolutely. This is the best time for him. He's really developed a defense here this year that John Elway gave him, and he came along with it and got into more blitzing, and they are number two against the rush. I think they're like five or six they're overall. top five overall. Yeah. Overall, this is the perfect time for him. He won't have another chance like this because there were guys like Greg Robinson who – was with the Broncos as their defensive coordinator that didn't get that job right. in the pros. He ended up at Syracuse. Correct, college head coach. And, and that's yeah. the only way he could get a head coaching yeah. job again. So.